for Nitro TV, this is Mahesh Patil, Principal Engineer at LSI. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to install a Nitro Megarade card in a server and then upgrade the drivers. This is the LSI Nitro Megarade card, which is a half height, half length card, PCIe Gen 2 by 8. This is the ROC chip, which provides LSI's RAID technology for data protection. This is the flash, the NAND flash memory, which comes in 100, 200, 800 gig capacities. This is the 8087 connector, which connects your data cable to about 128 devices. So the flash will help accelerate the performance of the devices behind this Nitro Megarate card. It also comes with this perforated slot, which will help for airflow. I'm going to now insert this card into the server. Make sure you're properly grounded. Make sure the power is off. Open the cover. First connect the data cable to the 8087 connector. Make sure it's properly snug, fit. Find an open PCIe by 8 slot. Properly route your cable. Secure the cord with a screw. Nice and snug, not too tight. And put the cover back on, connect the power cables, and power the server back into Windows 2012, and we're ready to go. The card is installed in the server. We've booted into Windows 2012. I've logged in as administrator, and we are the server manager screen. I click on tools, computer management, and we have the computer management screen. As it, you can see here, the installation of the card was plug and play because Windows Server 2012 has the driver built in. Nitro Migrate 8120-4i driver was automatically installed because of the inbox driver. Now, if you're like me, I prefer to upgrade my server to the latest and greatest driver, and that would be a simple process. So I go to lsi.com, click on support, Click on Find Support Documents and dri Drivers, and come down to Which Product Family, and select Nitro Application Acceleration Products. Click on the product. In this case, it's the Nitro Migrator 8120-4i. Click on that, and click on Search. And I'm given a menu. The menu consists of drivers, firmwares, tools, documents. Since we are upgrading the drivers, I click on the driver menu, select the latest Nitro Migrate driver for Windows. In this case, it's a Nitro Migrate 1.5 driver. I click on download and accept the agreement. And I save it to my machine. And it uh, comes down as a zip file. And my next step is to go to the device manager, go to tools, computer management, device manager, storage controllers, Nitro Migrate, right click and click on update software drivers. And I would browse this time since I know where it is. And I would first make sure I ex extract it, extract the driver. And I would, since I have a 64-bit server, I'd use the Win 8 underscore 64 driver. So close this window, select Browse. And here I have Win 8 64. Click OK. Click Next. And I have the latest driver, and it's installed. So as I mentioned, Nitro Migrate card is designed to improve performance with flash and protect your data with LSI RAID technology, all in one card.
Because it includes the cash, it frees up a slot which would have otherwise been needed for cash. It also is configured for boot drive purposes, which can eliminate two slots, which is typically used for a boot drive. This saving can be redirected to storage capacity. For Nitro TV, this is Mahesh Patil. Thanks for watching.